Hey everybody, uh, Norm over here with my friend Steve Correa. Hello sir. And the great Michael Lemo. Hello. And uh, we've got something really kind of killer here happening. And we're trying to do a good deed. We have a very dear friend of ours, Jason Becker, who was destined to be the next Van Halen. He was I mean, he was an incredible guitar player and he was struck down with Lou Gehrig's disease and he's been um, in a wheelchair since and he's over 30 been, years yeah for over 30 yeah. years oh, no, they didn't crazy. expect them to live no and he's got a movie out yeah. called yeah. not, not dead, dead yet. yet awesome and uh, it's a great movie and it's a great story but Jason's still in there with us, thank goodness. We love Jason. He's still writing music. He's actually working on music right now. He writes music with his eyes and a computer, yeah, but he can't can, move his hands. I can speak to him the way I'm speaking to you. His, his family and his caregivers can translate, and I can literally just, we just talk and tell jokes and hang out. So Eddie and Jason were really tight, and um, when Eddie found out that uh, Jason had Lou Gehrig's disease, um, he wanted to do something really nice for him. And this is his personal yes. uh, this the first Wolfgang year, guitar. Yeah, number 69. Number 69, which was the one he chose. Yeah, for uh, himself. very rock star. <laughs> but yeah, they actually, the, under contract, he got his specific guitars. So. I've spoken with Jim DeCola, right. who designed the guitar, it's Edward, right. and these guitars went straight to Ed, hand inspected and played. And you can actually see it in the video where he's right. playing this guitar, so. <laughs> when I go here. The last person to really play this guitar was, was Ed. Wow. So when Ed went to Jason's house to give him the guitar, he didn't know that Jason was gonna be no. A paraplegic no, was, for life. Yeah, no, and uh, he kind of expected he was going to give him this guitar. Maybe a year or two later, he'd be back out doing it. Yeah. But when uh, Eddie saw Jason, he realized that this was something that. Was yeah, when, when he first walked into the house, um, well, he started to tear up, and his mom took him into a back room to help him collect himself. And he felt really bad. He's like, what? She's like, what's wrong? She's like, He's not going to play again. So no, it's no. And he's like, I feel horrible. I bought some guitar. I figured you know we could jam someday and play. And so this is a great day for him. You're one of his heroes. And go out there, give him a guitar. And that's what you see in this video. And it's a side of Ed that the first time I saw the video before we put it together, it was, man, I cried. <laughs> I cried my eyes out. Uh, this is the 69th one, so it's you know the first hundred. I I personally, whatever you know. Jack and make sure they're, they're good. So, name that after my son, Wolfgang. Uh, How old is Wolfgang? Five. Oh, cool. Wow. Do you want to put it in your lap? Oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, I know it's hard to kind of keep a dry eye when you see it's this impossible. thing. Uh, so, um, so Eddie leans over and kisses Jason on the forehead, and he gives him this guitar, and he signs the guitar, and he starts playing this guitar and all that. And uh, he signed it here uh, to Jason. Unfortunately, Jason's medical needs are really high. It yeah. cost $185,000 a Roughly, year yeah. just for his medical expenses. Mm -hmm. And then his dad has been yeah, helping it, him his, for a long time. His dad's had some, some health issues lately. So um, years ago, his, I saw an interview with his mom and it really hit so suddenly and they really didn't have a plan and you, you hear her say we don't really have a plan so we're trying to come up with a plan we've done great things through you and everyone from herman lee nita strauss metallica i mean so many artists have kicked in and we've done phenomenal things and they all love jason it's, it's amazing but now he's in a situation where these medical bills just keep coming they keep they don't stop and his dad you know is not in great health so the question is—he's doing is, a little better now, though. He's starting, we're starting to start to turn a corner, but well, I hope so. I hope so too. But. So, uh, but what we're trying to do is, um, Jason would rather not sell this guitar, of course, but well, in order to make sure that his bills are paid um, for the long run, because if anything yeah. was to happen to his dad, well, one thing he did uh, say was that he loves the guitar, and it's 
it is about money, but it's also about seeing the guitar live on, you know, and seeing yeah. it go someplace where more people can love it and see, like this store. I mean, all these instruments have a story. Right. I mean, a hundred years from now, this guitar is going to be here along with all these guitars. Right. They don't evaporate, so no. hopefully... Uh, Think of the story. It'll be around. You it's know? a great story, and it's really, it shows, you know, Eddie's heart that he wanted to do something for his dear friend and, you know, and try to help him out because um, I, he was really kind of blown away when he realized how bad it really was yeah. for Jason. And when you see him lean over and kiss him on the forehead, uh, and that, that, that got me. <laughs> Thank you. Very much. And he had just completed that record with Dave Lee Ross. And right. I mean, he, was, he would have been the next guy. I was lucky enough to see him. It was amazing. It was amazing. Yep. And Jason, you know, loves Michael's playing, and he feels like Michael's probably the worthy, worthy guy to, to do this. And so we're going to get Michael to play a little bit on this guitar, and this guitar is going to go up at auction, mm -hmm. and how will they find it? Um, we're going to be announcing something very soon about the platform that's going on. What we're doing now is just making it known this is coming. Um, there's, it won't be much longer, and once that we have all the information, we'll reach out to you and everybody else. But okay. I've been speaking with a bunch of people already. And we'll show you a little of the video, uh, yeah. especially where Eddie kind of leans over yeah. to Jason. Yeah, get a tissue. It'll, yeah, yeah. It's, it's sad. Yeah. But, um, Michael, why don't you do the honors? Play a little bit of uh, Van Halen on this guitar. Feel free to play that. Justice last, and last uh, person really playing like that was Ed. <laughs> Eddie, was, Damn, cool. uh, Eddie was one of the last people to play the guitar. Yeah, it hasn't been touched. It's in the video, and uh, again, it's kind of a bittersweet thing that uh, Jason needs to, you know, Norm, sell you know, the guitar to, to pay his medical expenses, but we want to make sure that he's covered for as long that's, as that's my goal. Uh, he's around, and we want to do our part here to try to help this you, out. You've been doing it for a few years now. Well, we love Jason, as soon and as Jason I... was the most promising metal player ever, you know, yeah, other than not open Eddie. Debate. And uh, so a lot of people love him, and I mean, how many other people, like people from Metallica and oh, all these other... I could go down the list, Herman Lee, Nita Strauss, Steve Luthor, Paul Gilbert. There's so many. Since we've started this whole thing with Jason, it's just been all the artists I've reached you for help, whether it was to donate guitars. Joe Satriani donated the one called donated one called Flame, that one for 50k. Um, Luke donated one, that one for 40k. It's like everyone. Once I say Jason, people they just, all love they Jason all, and they yeah. all kind of come to the uh, Paul Stanley. The party. Paul Stanley was actually when that video came out, he was probably the first famous person to say something really sweet about the video but then somehow we got a hold of him I think through Herman Lee or Bumblefoot and he actually donated a guitar and he did a personal video about it and that guitar sold like that. And well this guitar you know we hope that uh, whoever has it's going to have a great piece of history and this is not just the signer this is a real Eddie oh, Van Halen guitar. Deal. No it's going to come so. with all the documentation 
um, of, of yeah you were saying that the designer yeah Jim DeCola actually designed a guitar with Edward and he's preparing all of the letters of authenticity that can state that this guitar was contracted to Ed it went from the factory to Ed and one, then you then you see it go to Jason so but now it's now it's here and and we know it would be Eddie's wishes to make sure that Jason is taken care of you know for his yeah. uh, medical and just to be able to stick around and all that and we're so pleased that Jason's still around still writing music he had a legacy that. of helping Jason um, from the video you saw getting perspectives released through Warner Brothers there was a time where money was tight and the house, you know, and Ed wrote a check and just made stuff happen. Well, yeah. so if you're a Van Halen fan, you know you're doing something in his best wishes and Eddie's best wishes. And again, we're just trying to help along and let people know about this. So thank you guys for watching. I hope whoever bids, bids generously. It's going Everything to a great to, cause. Every cent goes to Jason. I don't make a dime. Every, every nickel, penny, dollar goes straight into Jason's trust run for his medical expenses. Good. Nothing. Well, we want the best for Jason. We're hoping, you know, we're always open for a miracle. The longer you live, the longer you live. So, I mean, who knows, maybe they'll come up with something that can help him. But, you know, in the meantime, he's around and he's still making music. And Jason Becker. And if you want to see a great movie, check out Not Dead Yet. Wow, it's incredible. Yeah. Great movie. We'll bring more tissue. So. <laughs> All right. Love you guys. Thank you guys for being so kind. Thank you.